this summer, police officers breaking car windows, desperately trying to rescue young kids trapped inside hot cars. And it's been a tragic year. 32 children already killed in hot cars, where temperatures can spike fast. Even when it's just 70 degrees outside, it can reach nearly 90 inside the car in just 10 minutes. But now, new technology to prevent these tragedies. I'm in Michigan, where researchers have developed a new product that would actually alert you if you walk away from your car and there's a baby still in the back seat. This is David Brink, who's leading the team. How does it work? What is it? Well, we've installed a very sophisticated electronic sensor in the ceiling of this vehicle mm -hmm. that detects a child sleeping anywhere in the back seat of this vehicle. That sensor uses special radio frequency waves to detect even the smallest breaths and chest movements. So what if I walk away from the car? What happens? You get a flashing of lights, an audible sound, and a text message to your phone. You get a text message? How yes, fast? In less than a minute. Time to try it out. We put a baby mannequin that actually mimics breathing in the car, and I drive around the block to park. All right, out of the car. Let's see how long it takes for the alert to actually go off and how far you'd get away from the car. It's only been a few seconds here. Oh, and oh, there it goes. An unattended child has been detected. That fast, and the lights are blinking, and I'm gonna keep an eye on my screen here. Yep, there it is. There's the text message right there. Child forgotten. I'd know that fast. The company says the sensor could be rolled out by some car manufacturers as soon as next year. Hopefully making this a thing of the past. Jeff Rawson, NBC News, Auburn Hills, Michigan. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.